So anyway guys, I've been down there taking some photos on the 70 to 300. I think I might be swapping out to my 10 to 20 because down there I wasn't getting the shots that I wanted to get. They were, I couldn't get in far enough so I should have just taken, changed the lens out. My, my fault. Oh well, these things happen. And I wasn't taking the cannon down because I almost fell in. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to go have a look at the other one now, see if that's blowing with water. And we'll come back to you shortly. The old train bridge. Okay, see if the other waterfall is flowing. Jeez. Anyway guys, we've made the other falls, John Forest National Park Falls. Just walked another kilometre. So in the process of this we're actually getting fit. <laughs> Trying to. So we're going to walk over here and see what shots we can get, maybe change out the lens. This time there's actually water in the pool. So there's no water here last time. I'm going to change that around. This is the time it's actually flowing. Come on. Big falls, not long and long, but flowing, so it lines up the top. And I'm walking the steep step path, come down the bottom. I've just changed my lens out 18 to 55 mil kit lens. Um, the other one wouldn't have got the shots, I wanted it too down here. And now there's plenty of birds around, that's why I had the 55 to 300, 70 to 300, sorry. I'm going watch up the top, I'm coming down here to get some photos of, which we did do last time, but since we've lost all the cannon footage, we've had to come back out and remake this. Nice place to come out. A lot of packing bits. Scrubs a little bit thicker this time. There it goes, it's 
path down and walked a little bit quicker so I'll probably cut some of the hair. There's people in the way. Water into the spots. Shortly. So anyway guys, this is the train tunnel. It was built in 1895. We're not actually going to walk through it because we've already done that, but you can actually walk through here. You can see how dark it is, I don't know if you can see the light at the other end. Oh, let's see if we can zoom in. through that and you'll see glass holes in that inside on the side walls and the old train the actual tracks there is some parts of the track still down here and a few caves and stuff cutaways so yeah we've just walked all the way from the waterfall down here to bring you guys this is actually still light on this camera. So basically you're just walking through at the moment. Okay, now we're losing light. Now we're losing light. So they say this is haunted, but if you keep walking down, guys, you come out the other end, just takes you to the other end of the park. And there's a cutaway and an old door thing there. That's the actual train tunnel that was built uh, many, many years ago, 18 something, I think it was. I'll have a look on the sign in a minute and tell you. And um, yeah, they say a lot of the workers there was a few workers that actually passed away while they were building it. But it used to run from Albany to Fremantle Ports. And you can come and read all about it through here. And they've actually got the signs on some of the bridge steel. So got the uh, Eniment people, politicians, Sir John Forrest and that. Here's a picture of the actual train tunnel. 
when the tracks were going through it and there is still some old tracks in there. Oh. We give you a look with a torch. 1894. There you go, 1894. That's when the construction commenced in 1894. It took over a year to build with two crews working from each end. The shifts and working 24 hours a day. Yeah, 1894 it commenced. Project three shifts working 24 hours a day, 340 metre tunnel. They used enough bricks, 330,000 bricks, enough to build 36 houses today. To Unfortunately, it wasn't well ventilated and locomotive fumes and heat overcome the drivers and firemen through the tunnel and tried to lay in, low in the cab and cover themselves with wet Haitian bags and even experimented with an air tube to the front of the engine. But to no avail, serious accidents continued until a driver was killed in 1942. Finally, a bypass around the tunnel was built in 1945. The line was used until 1966, when it was closed and an alternate route through the Avon Valley was constructed. That's that train. But yeah, you can read all about it, guys. About them building it, the hard slog. They use the old horse and cart to cart stuff. The Eastern Railway from Fremantle to Guildford was completed in 81 and later to Chidlow in 84, York in 85, Beverly in 89. Beverly, Albany in 89. 1889 too. 1889. 1890s gold rushes caused a rapid increase in the use that showed the network to be efficient. So yeah. So there you have it, John Park, Central Park, the old railway, helping you to Fremantle. Come down and read it, come down and have a glass, take some photos. And come back to you at the other end. Well guys, this is the last part of John Forest National Park Falls, or John Forest National Park. We're down in the promenade bit, which is just at the start. We've got a whole lake and stuff here. Um, we're just going to go up here, have a look, get a few more photos of this area here. And we'll come back to you shortly in a minute, but we'll do a bit of footage on the way up as well. So this is the promenade walk apparently, just down from the picnic area. We've stuck some a lake here huts we're going to have a look at. Got all this walk a couple of tables or so you can come and sit down here and have a picnic on. This is like a Table. A fairy village. Chairman of State Gardens Board, Mr. Lewis Shepcott, the first construction work in the park in the early 1930s, utilised sustenance workers and was designed to create a garden in the forest with a fairy village theme. Attractions were needed and it was time Lewis Shepcott would soon have grandchildren, so 10 or more rustic picnic huts were constructed of tree branches and thatched walls and roofs in time of church in time a church one in the picnic huts was called princess betty's cottage after princess elizabeth's own dollhouse tiny fairy steps were built here for small children to play among the huts hmm. i was holding that sideways
hiding in the forest. There you go. Garden in the forest. So anyway guys, that's John Forest National Park. We brought you the Hovia waterfall, John Forest waterfall, the tunnel, taking some photos of promenade. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get this one up without losing it. So on the next one, we'll see you then. Till then, Rob and Diane from Middle Age Adventures, we'll catch you later.